you so nervous about? I'm not going to grade this thing, you know. I know. Huh. How was your second night home sleepless? Sleepless. Mm -hmm. and, and stop trying to change the subject, huh? You've been as nervous as a cat on a hot tin roof since you got here. Now, what's the problem? There's something very wrong with Frisco. What? I don't know. He won't tell me. He's all torn up on the inside. Oh, no, Princess, stop worrying about him. He'll come around, huh? Oh, no, he's been moping around the house. He even watches all my problems. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yes. I also know what the problem is, too. You do? Did he talk to you? No, no, but it's obvious to me. He needs a job. Well, Sean, I know that. He doesn't like his job at Delafield's. That certainly doesn't surprise me. See, Frisco's the type of guy who needs a lot of excitement in his life. Mm-hmm. But he laughed at that by lying to Robert about Bobby, and then he got kicked off the police force. So that's it. Damn it! How long did he know about that? Not very long. <sighs> he did what he had to do for Bobby. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Are you angry about this? Well, no, 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 not, no, not really. I, I'm sure he had his reasons. Sure he had his reasons, but they backfired, and then he got fired. No, oh, that's not Robert's fault. I know. It's his fault. And to a certain degree, you're culpable, too. What are you saying? But you're the one who wanted him off the force in the first place. You think this is my fault? In a way, yeah. Sean, we have a child. Police work is dangerous. I know all that, and Frisco thrives on it. He's a born cop. You knew that about him all along. But he wanted to settle down. And he has. That's why he is totally depressed. Yes, but that was his decision. Princess, look, all I'm saying is that he gave it all up because you wanted him to give it up. Here's Gaddy, report to Dr. Cochran. Emergency. Here's Gaddy, report to Dr. Cochran. Emergency. I, I have to go to surgery. Tony, please listen to me. Did you not hear what I just said? Just a few minutes, please. No. Tony! I am about to operate. I don't need you and your aggravation right now. Don't shut me out like this, please. Mm, come on, you don't need a vowel there. What's the matter with you? Involved? It's domesticity. Domesticity. Come on. I can't believe that. Mm. Max. Hey, doll. It's time for our favorite soap. All my problems. Okay. Come on. Wonder what they're up to today, huh? Let's see what we got. Put you down for a second. I thought you were Barry. And I thought you were dead. I know. You're the one who tried to kill me. Barry! What are you doing with that gun? Barry, not the gun, Barry. Barry, don't! No, Barry! No, Barry! No, 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 
it, no, it just happened. Oh, uh, I'll oh, get it. Did you clean up? No, I've got no, it. No, no, I'll get it. Let me get. I've got it. She's fine. Hello. Yes, fine. <sighs> Look, I I'm going to take off for a while. All right. What's the matter with you? Nothing is the matter with me. Why are you so I just, upset? I've just had a little. Too much domesticity, that's all. And I didn't have to buy a vowel to name that word. Buy a vowel? Never mind, never mind. Never mind. Well, fine. Well, you, you go ahead. We'll, we'll be fine here. Okay. All right. Sweetheart. Yeah, what? What is it? You know I don't want to keep you from doing what you want to do. Oh, I know, honey. I know I'm just... I'm just a little bored, that's all. Is it something that I did? Oh, no, 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 no. It's not... It's not you, okay? It's just you me. Do you want to talk about it? No, no. I don't want to talk about it. I just oh. I go to Kelly's. I just want to get a sandwich and a beer. Just, that's Wait, all. Are you sure? I'm fine. That's it. I'm sure. Why? Excuse me, Ruby. Yeah? Tony's refusing to talk to me. Well, what on earth did you expect? I expected a little understanding. I don't know what to do. Honey, I know what you do. You give him a little time. Oh, yeah, I haven't got time. Not if I'm going to get him and the kids back. Bobby, Bobby. Why is everybody giving me advice that I can't use? Well, who have you been talking to? Steve. And what did he have to say? He told me I should go back to nursing. You know something? That's a terrific idea. Be a place to put this energy and love and to help somebody else. Ruby, I have to concentrate on getting Tony and the kids back. And I'll do whatever I have to do. Well, that is the street and you talking. You bet. Whatever it takes. Come on, we're going in the kitchen. Come on. This is a private discussion. I don't want to have to approach you off here. So right in the kitchen. General Hospital will continue in a moment. Tonight. Start with the lectures. I think I've had enough advice for one day. Well, that's just tough. I'm sick of your stupidity and your selfishness. Why don't you start thinking with your head? I'm trying. No, you're not. You're flying by the seat of your pants. You've reverted to your old street instinct. I remember you and Elm Street in Florida. Is that what you want to become again? Of course not. Well, then just stop it. I should have known when I had to cover up all your lies. Ruby, you never had a child, so you don't understand. No, I didn't. But I raised you, and I know you. And I know under that respectability is a street fighter who's going to get the last shot in. You bet. Because I want my husband and my children back. And I will do whatever it takes to get them.